So this is a ball and stick model of the gallium arsenide crystal structure. Uh, in this we've got the uh, one of the colour uh, uh, plastic beads, or let's say pink, is representing gallium, and the other blue would be representing arsenic. Uh, so what I want to do is just help you pick out what the bonding arrangement is with respect to the uh, crystallographic directions. So in this particular model, uh, we've got helpfully uh, the uh, corners of the face center cubic cell, uh, which uh, form the crystal structure for the, uh, for the gallium arsenide lattice, uh, are picked out as yellow uh, uh, atoms. Uh, and in fact, if you remember that each, at each lattice site, we have um, uh, two atoms per unit cell, one uh, gallium and one arsenic. So if we look uh, at, at the uh, unit cell, where we can pick out uh, this, these yellow atoms here at the top of the unit cell. So that's uh, the top of our face center cubic unit cell. In fact, we can look down from the top where we can see that square symmetry maybe uh, much more clearly. Okay, so now we're looking down at the top of the um, crystal structure and those uh, yellow atoms are forming a square face. So if we come back again into perspective and I'm going to take a look at this, the atom at the bottom of uh, the unit cell. So let's come in here. So we're looking at this one here and I just want to point out that we've got this gallium arsenic atom. This is uh, these are the two atoms which form the basis and sit at each lattice site on the uh, on the crystal. And indeed, you can probably make out here that the, this uh, blue atom is sitting at the centre of a tetrahedron, uh, which is uh, which is terminated by these vertices, the three pink and the yellow, uh, which represents, for instance, arsenic at the centre and gallium around the uh, vertices of the tetrahedron. So this, uh, this line between uh, the gallium and the arsenic, these two, uh, these two uh, atoms at the uh, lattice part, at, lat at each lattice site, this direction is pointed along the diagonal of the unit cell. So if we uh, thought about this, this atom here, this atom here, and uh, the atom at the opposite corner of the unit cell, here, right here. Uh, these are all in a line. These are collinear. So that's our crystal structure, uh, and we can easily pick out a few principal directions here. First of all, if we look along a diagonal of the unit cell, which is uh, shown here. sorry, here, we can see that there's the, a hexagonal or triangular symmetry there, okay, which is what we'd expect if we'd looked along the, uh, the diagonal of a cube. If we look down from the top, we see what looks like a fourfold symmetry. It's interesting that you can get this fourfold and threefold symmetry from the same structure, so that's looking down the one zero zero direction. In fact, the other major direction is to look along the diagonal of the, uh, of the unit cell. That's in that direction, and that's one of the 110 directions. We'll talk about that a little bit more because the bonding in that configuration is uh, of particular interest. Okay, so that's the, the gallium arsenide unit cell itself. And the important thing to notice is that the the bonding geometry and the lattice geometry, so the relative placement of atoms uh, and their bonding are very closely connected and related.